When you're on lockdown and you can't run down the street like you usually do for some exercise, what are your options? You can strap on a mask, take the elevator downstairs, and run around in loops in the courtyard. At least you can run, but the mask is hot and it's sweaty, and after a while, it sticks to your face, and it gets pretty disgusting. Yeah, gross. Or you leave the mask off and you run back and forth on the balcony like a fool. At least you don't have to wear a mask or even leave the house. And you can't beat the view. We're approaching day 100 of some form of stay at home order here in the city and we're all going a little stir crazy. My habit of running or trying to stay active in some way is really important to me. When we got to project three in Mark Rober's creative engineering course, and that project centered on habits, I knew that running and staying active was gonna be the drive behind my design. So I scrounged up some parts from my boxes of wires, built this prototype, and got the code together using libraries that I found for the Arduino. With a laser sensor and a screen, I got it to the point that I could keep track of the number of times you run back and forth in front of it. The next day, when I got my daughter to play with it, I knew I was onto something. Whoa! Look! 11-1! What number is that? I don't know. 11-11? That's some engagement that gets you thinking you might just be onto something. So I did a whole redesign thanks to my Lego stash that has traveled with me from New York to China and here in Vietnam for the past five years. I added an adjustable knob for the laser sensor so it would point in the right place to track me while I ran or anybody else that might want to use it. I gave it the ability to not just keep track of forward and backward laps, but also the number of passes in front. This would let me count circular laps that I make in my living room. Now I have this to throw down here on the balcony or in the living room and take care of the mindless counting while I exercise. Hopefully we won't be trapped for too much longer and I can get out there on the real road real soon. Until then, I have this to make staying active just a little bit easier. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching.